Um, hello everyone and hello everybody and today I'm so excited that I'm going to show you about a part of the grammar that I'm going to show all of you guys about the formula 10 of English that did you watch about the video that I just showing all of you already about what is the active voice and what is the passive voice and right now I'm going to showing you about the summary of the form less of maintain in English and in that I'm going to show with the form of the active voice the form with passive voice that start from the past present simple or that start from the past simple too okay so don't waste my time so let's go together right now and before I'm gonna start I would like you guys please pay attention to focus on it and if you are not sure a bit more that you are don't understand just asking me by comment below All right yep so let's go um about the summary of the form in the maintain in english i have about how to using and i have about the form that we're going to show or we get said I'm going to use in English active voice alright or passive voice okay so um, the first I'm gonna show you is the past simple the past simple with the active voice and the passive voice also all right that you're gonna see when you are going to use the active voice in the present simple the subject plus verb one plus object it is we call the present simple form all right and i'm just point out only the positive form all right i'm just point out only the positive form form and question form or we can say like a negative form you will be know how to do it by your own self all right but i just want to make sure a little bit about the active voice in the active voice they are a bit uh we gonna say like a bit hard for you guys if you are never study about that if you want to make a form of a negative form and if you want to make a form as a question form all right and it's fine all right in a negative form and a question form you just use do or does to have that all right or use it into that sentence by subject plus do or does plus not plus verb one plus object if you are want to make it for the negative form and if you want to make it for the question form just change do or does plus subject plus verb one plus object and question mark it is a question form all right and let's go into the passive voice together passive voice is the subject plus to be that to be they are have m is an r and plus verb 3 what is verb 3 verb 3 is a verb participle all right verb participle all right and of object it is a passive passive voice and because in that form we have a to be that we're gonna say like in that form we have to be so if you want to make it for the question form or you want to make it for the the, the, the negative form you just like for negative for example you just add not add not after m is an r 
So it's gonna be m plus 2b plus not plus verb 3 plus object. If you want to make it for the negative form. Alright? Mm. And for the, the question form, just take the to be to be instead of the subject and plus subject is going to be plus uh, m is an r plus subject plus verb 3 plus object. <laughs> You just change for the active voice. You just change that verb one to verb two. All right. You just change that verb one to verb two. All right. Remember it. Just change verb one to verb two. Okay. And for the passive voice, it's gonna be change to be to be verb and verb. Okay, you can change uh, um, to be to was and and were. All right, and verb three is gonna be keeping the same. All right, if you are going to use that for the passive voice, and you're gonna see on the screen that I'm showing you, you just use it. They're just uh, going with that. It is true. All right, it's fine. And I have it a lot from. I mean the present past ten present past ten present past ten so you guys can have a look and focus it to your own self that I mentioned in here with the form that I'm going to show you as a summary of formula alright and you're gonna see about the present perfect form and what is present perfect on a new form? You're gonna have a look at that. And what is the present per? And what is the past perfect on a new? And what is the future simple? And what is the future continue? And then what is the future perfect? We're gonna use a form with one. Yes, and the future perfect on a new. It is the what? I mean the kind of the form that you guys can be take a note or can be have a look by use it as possible that you are going to use it it's anywhere and also i just mentioned for you in note already that i'm going to show you in note like for example verb one what is mean verb one is referring to the verb present and what is verb ing or we can say that v ing is going to be verb plus ing and what is mean verb two is going to be verb past ten or we're going to say like a verb in the past time like in the past ten all right or verb three what does that mean it's gonna be verb part participle all right and what is the object like what is the attitude like obj and what is mean as as for what it is about what that i'm using abbreviation for you guys that will be uh, easy for me to use in the uh, writing in the grammar a, a, a form that I'm used to explaining my student and for another one okay for another so this is you're gonna see it's just touched by me that I very hard to to uh, summary the form so if some point that you guys think that's not very uh, true or you're gonna say that I think it wrong and whatever with what that you are wondering and I'm also, I'm, I am I'm also believe that like it is what that I you to check it again and again already before I'm posting to all of you and before I'm sharing to all of you all right and you guys gonna see right now about the present simple 10 that we can say like the present simple 10 and the using all right present simple 10 and then using why I have that to all of you because it's just a tip I mean it's just a point that you just note or that you just should know when you are going to use a tent it's not mean that you are just like uh, know about the form but about the using you actually don't know it's not really good too so that's why you can also just learn it and you also just read it because I'm gonna take a time for you to read it too 
so you can take a time to read it all right I, i'm not going so so fast i'm just going so slow so you can be enjoy it guys with what that i'm showing you guys on the screen of this computer and i would like to apologize because uh i don't have much time to explain for you that so that's why i just leave it on the screen of the computer with my explanation and if you are uh wondering or if you are uh, don't know about any point just asking me okay so please take a read or please take a note about the screen that i mentioned in here okay so let's go guys so just watch it and thank you for watching my video and if you are wondering any point like i mentioned again and again please asking me and also comment below if you are want to know more from me or want to study with me anymore and thank you guys for watching my video we're gonna see you in another video thank you